welcome so today we'll just go about the, how to create something like this that uh, where is there is two film object this one will be fixed this one can be moved and they were both attached by a constraint and one of them will drag the other one to go up slowly by time so we'll go how to create something like this so very simple quick network the way I go about it it created two two boxes this is the first one this is the second one no need to be identical you can create any shape you like and then uh, I move this one down let's just do the movement something like this so one standing and one on the ground then I created a group for each one so this one we call it box one and this one we call it box two okay. now I want to box three and box four oh, okay this is three this is four now I want to define a couple of bonds that this would be attached to this one so just make it maybe by creating a group here a group that will be on points we we'll call it attach group and let's create one two three four something like this okay after that I created uh, this one to be a bin point you can I will just use the, the whole group name then we'll go and create vellum vellum constraint where is vellum constraint there is one there is one so for this one the group is box a3 and let's choose shape match or anything because we don't want to move it maybe it, it can be a static object also as for a change so set uniform we'll make it 5 and thickness we make it 0.1 okay this one we start first by making it uh, VLAN constraint also make it uh, shape match and see how to work this one will make it 2 remember we'll try to change this one and we create another group no, we will uh, combine them using film uh, back. Okay, the first one goes here, and another film back. This one will go here. To connect, you can press Shift and do the first one. Then we do a merge both of them and then we do VLOM and back so now they are both together here and that's why we are using the group so we can differentiate between both here I'll do another um, constraint VLOM VLOM constraint so pressing shift okay connect here I want to do constraint that is uh, let's try which one glue for instance the glue we want it between the bonds we selected here and any random bond here so we are talking about points first one is attach move so these are the move the bonds that we choose here 
these random ones. <coughs> Sorry. And this one. This one primitive. See? So we'll create another group here. Let's go about something control G. And this one will be on points. Yes. Select couple of random points. This one, this, this. Something like that. Okay. So here let me just name it. Let's call it fixed. Here we make it as points. So this is fixed. Here now we create a villain solver. So as we talk, we press shift to the first one. It will connect. And if you press R and select, see, it will uh, flag this one. R, R. We'll go immediately there. Now, let's play and see how it will work. Nice, nothing crazy. Okay, so I'll try to fix this one, not make it movable. So we'll do another VLAM constraint. But this one will be box 3 and we'll make it cloth I think because we have the bin to animation fix okay make it fix let's try now see it's moving so it's not it's not moving okay now I uh, go here to this one We cannot see the lines that being constrained because the maximum search distance is too small to make it large. Like a hundred, a thousand. Ten thousand. How many want we selected here? Yes, so just have a look how it look now, and nothing will happen because just to make it simple and not to waste your time also, I'll just select this bond, this, this, and this here and here. I will select the top one so it don't get confused. One, two, three. Or later on we can create multiple groups so it can uh, see exactly where it goes so okay so this is the constraint that we created even still it won't move why because the idea is here in the uh, wrist length if we make it because we need to make it short if we make it short now so it will snap on the next frame see this is what we don't want this one so we need to go inside but let me create a group for it stretchy we call it so this constraint we created they have a name these and go inside here and in the villain constraint property here I must select the group name we call it stretchy and the one we are interested with we will activate its stretch length scale we will animate it so I'll just stop the simulation so the first frame no movement and by frame you say 94 we will make it very tiny 
like point one. Let's see. Let's go back and animate. See, we take it very slow. So the gate is closed now. The gate of the bridge. Okay. If I go by uh, here and make it even smaller, let's see how it will look. Very small, either you need to increase the constraint uh, iteration, the steps, uh, not do it, I'll just stay with one, one is good. Okay. So, how I managed to uh, just add the pulley, pulley wire for the constraint. So, I just go second frame and uh, I select this line. So, I selected here the primitive. These are the primitive. I did. I did. Wow. Sorry, I'm here. Yeah. I'll just put it here. And in pairs. And we make a bully wire. It's quick one. Make it smaller. And merge this one and this one. Fancy frame because we didn't initiate in the creation. Let's uh, just select from the second frame here. That's what about it today. So thank you and have a nice day.